In this video, we're going to talk about the details regarding priority. We're going to tell you the history of priority, how it came about, and what priority does, and how to attune and adjust priority. The first thing we'd like to talk about is what is priority? So we get this question all the time. And what I'd like to do is give you a little bit of history about how priority and in fact gyros came about. So in the late 70s, actually mid 70s, radio control helicopters started to kind of take hold. And uh, there were a few manufacturers, early manufacturers that were making helicopters. And what was found out very early on is that maintaining control of the tail of the helicopter was quite, uh, quite a difficult thing to do. So every time the torque of the helicopter would increase, so for example, if the pitch of the blades would increase, or if it's a fixed pitch, anytime the, the engine power would increase, or if you had a gust of wind, the helicopter tail would simply swing around like a weather vane into the wind or opposing torque and so on. And so in those early days, people that were trying to learn to fly helicopters without gyros found that they spent about 80 to 90% of their time just trying to keep the tail in the position that they wanted to. Well, along came the original mechanical gyros. Companies like Kraft, for example, actually made a gyro that was a motor with a flywheel on it that then had a magnetic sensor on it. And as the gyro would rotate, um, it would actually give input to the servo in the opposite directions. And so those early mechanical rate gyros were incorporated into helicopters. Now, the way that those worked, it was very simple. If the helicopter rotated in one direction, it would give a servo output in the opposite direction, so it would correct it. And the higher the velocity, so the faster that the rotation took place, the greater that the servo output would occur. So those are called rate gyros. So that was great, it would stabilize the helicopter. Pretty quickly, however, people realized that not only does it do it around center, but it also does the same thing. You know, it corrects for those inputs at high rotation rates. So what everybody immediately noticed is, wow, the helicopter holds really well around center, but when I give a full rudder command, unfortunately, the rotation rate is pretty slow. So um, inner priority. So some pretty smart folks came up with the idea is, hey, we can incorporate programming. So the gyro gain is at its maximum at center, and as you displace, in this case, the rudder for a helicopter, the farther away from center you get, the lower the gain goes. What this does is it gives you maximum stability at center with a reduction in gain as you get more and more towards, you know, more and more input so that you can maintain the high rotation rates. And so that was referred to as stick priority and it really did revolutionize how radio control helicopters flew. So we also utilize stick priority for the same reason in airplanes. So priority, and we'll show you how to adjust it. If you go to, of course the system's hooked up, I have a separate receiver here, and I'm gonna enter forward programming, gyro settings, AS3X settings, and you'll see priority is the second item down. So if you'll notice, if I click on priority, it says stick priority. And priority, by the way, is preset at 160. So let me see if I can explain how priority works. Sure. So with zero priority, I go in and change it to zero. And by the way, in order to initiate that um, function in the radio, I have to hit OK. So after I hit OK, let's take a look at what happens. So you can see, I have this on aileron. So as I rotate the gyro, I have full gyro gain at center, and I have full gyro gain all throughout the entire range. So that's no priority. So consequently, I have stability turned on throughout the entire range. With zero priority, what I'll find is the airplane is extraordinarily um, stable, in this case in roll. Um, however, I'm gonna have a limited control throw at the ends of uh, control. So if I give a full right command, the roll rate's gonna be slow. Full left command, roll rate's gonna be slow. Let me go ahead and change that. So now I'm gonna change it to 100%. So there's 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And I hit okay. Now, Let's see what happens. So at center stick, I have full gain. And as I displace the rudder, 
the gain proportionately decreases, and when I get to 100% travel, notice that there's no gyro gain. What this gives me is full stability in the middle, and it turns the gyro off at the end at 100% travel, and so I'll have maximum control throw. So that's what priority does. So by the way, as I mentioned, the um, preset for this is 160. Now why 160? So we've had priority available for a very long time and our pilots, we in fact Horizon has had some of the best pilot employees, also we have team members, some extraordinarily, pilot, extraordinarily skillful pilots and they have been using priority for a long time and the majority of folks after they've experimented with priority that have a lot of experience find that they prefer the gyro gain of about 150 to 160 you know 140 in that region gives the best what they believe feel and control that is that so when they displace the stick actually the gyro turns off well before it hits the endpoint so essentially you're flying you have total you know input yourself with no gyro stability at the ends and near the ends However, at center, you have maximum gain. So feel free to adjust this, although I think you'll also find when you experiment with this that with priority, you will be able to, you'll, you'll probably find that about 160% is where you're gonna find it as well. So some tips on adjusting priority. Um, if, you're, if you're flying and let's say you're doing uh, rolling circles or let's say you're doing some rolling maneuvers that don't require full displacement, Wherever that priority takes place, sometimes you can get kind of a notch feel. So in other words, when the gyro is on, you know, you have, you have a certain rate. And then when the gyro turns off, that rate is much more, um, it's much more obvious. It's much more sensitive. So you may want to play with that value a bit until you find that you get the feel that you want with priority. And of course, priority is available on um, roll, pitch, and yaw. Let me go ahead and accept that. Okay. And it's also available independently in flight mode three. I can set, we'll just arbitrarily set a number there. And then when I switch, I have individual priority for all of my axis in every flight mode. So that's what priority is.